because if this is what I think it is, it could be worth upwards of a couple of hundred dollars. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's a beautiful sunny Friday afternoon here in Las Vegas and I am headed to my favourite Goodwill on Rainbow and Cheyenne. We have to make a quick stop first at the Good Stuff Thrift Store, 1401 North Decatur, so I can pop into my booth and grab a couple of items my subscribers saw on my last video and wanted to buy. I'll take you with me for that. It should be a fun clip that I'll pop in at the end of this video, but I will see you at Goodwill. We are here at the Rainbow and Cheyenne Goodwill and today I am looking for glass items. This coming Sunday I'm having a whatnot sale, my glass extravaganza and I need a few more pieces to make it really really good. So fingers crossed for glass, let's go thrifting! Let's grab a cart, this one is all ready for us. I've got my reusable shopping bags and my thrifting Vegas blanket. The color of the week is blue. All blue tags are 50% off, so we'll have to be on the lookout for those. I'm often asked if it's all right to reuse boxes and packaging materials. As a reseller, my first priority is to make sure my shipments arrive safely. So provided materials such as bubble wrap, peanuts, brown paper and boxes are in good condition, I will absolutely take every opportunity to recycle them. When you're packaging, it's really, really important to make sure the box is full with packing and the item doesn't shake around. This will minimize the chance of breakage in transit. Here we are in the hard goods section and I have spotted some cobalt blue glass in the clear glass right on the end in the vases here. Let's have a look see what it is. I don't think it's too terribly old but these are made in the US and they're quite desirable. Some of them are Libby and some of them are made by other manufacturers but the optic swirl in this is absolutely gorgeous so I am going to pop it in the cart. I've got my thrifting Vegas blanket arranged so everything is nicely cushioned while I'm shopping. Let's make our way over to the first aisle here where the figurines and collectibles are. There are lots of dolls on this bottom shelf and a couple of you told me last time that I missed an American Indian doll, possibly similar to this one, that sells for $30 to $40. Now I'm not an expert on dolls, but I'm willing to go out of my comfort zone, pop her in the cart and have a look on eBay to see if I can find her value. Let's keep going on this shelf. To see what we can find. Ooh, what's this under here? Let's unstack these. This is possibly a project piece, but I'm curious to see. Oh, it's a piece for grandma, even a spot for a picture at the top there. What else do we have? Something broken, sadly. A couple of vintage lampshades. Oh, look at these. These are party light. They're crackle glass tea light or votive holders. So we will grab those. Let's just see what else is on this shelf. So I'm not swinging you around back and forth in the cart. Oh, this is also party light. 69 cents little tea light holder. That would be great for the holidays. As you know, I buy seasonal items all year long and they do sell for me. This is an interesting piece. 
possibly a paperweight. It looks like a flower. That's really pretty. Again, 69 cents. So we will absolutely grab that and our little star candle holder in the cart they go. This blanket does such a wonderful job of protecting my treasures. Stand up Santa there. Oops, he's not very stable. <laughs> Here's another doll. She's not ever so well made and she says uh, she's a Canadian souvenir. So we will leave her on the shelf. This is a wood base for something that is missing. Oh, look at these. More crackle glass Yankee candle. These are candle shades. They're six dollars and they fit over a candle. They just sit on the top of it. There's two and uh, they actually match the little tea light holders we found earlier. We don't want to forget to grab those. Here they are. Two of those. They are $3 a piece, so let's put those carefully in as well. And keep going. Oh, more seasonal items. I absolutely love these reindeer stocking holders, metal with wood. I'm not sure how old they are, but they're a lovely style. Very, very nicely made. One is missing its felt on the bottom, but that is easily replaced. I think these are either crate and barrel or pier one imports. Very nice, those. Let's see, what's this? It's a little decorative piece, probably Big Lots or Dollar Store, that one. Some plaques and signs. Moving into the candle holders here. Let's see if there is anything interesting. I'm on the lookout for party light, for, oh, look at this egg. I love these. These are vintage. They're made with sequins and pins. We'll grab that. As far as candles, party light, Yankee candle, obviously glassy baby. This one is definitely used. It's a bit scratched up, so we'll leave that. Here is another Yankee Candle piece. This is a snowman uh, outdoor scene. Quite fun. I'm not familiar with that style, so we'll pop that in the cart and look it up on eBay and see if we can find it. These, I believe, are taper candle holders. But let's just see, out of interest, if this fits like an epern. No, it doesn't. And it's a completely different shade of glass. So that was a good idea. It didn't work out. Not really sure what this is. Possibly, no, I'm not sure. This is a soccer ball bank. Here's the matching taper holder. Let's put those together as a pair. What else can we find? More dolls. It's a Christmas tree, a little light there. These are uh, either Target or Big Lots, Walmart possibly. Not ever such good quality. Some collector plates, pretty piece of glass, nice bowl there. Let's actually pop that up on this shelf so it doesn't get forgotten back there. Under here is a really pretty plate. It's a light blue with a radiating flower design. It has some Asian characters on the bottom. I'm not familiar with it at all. Haven't seen that before. So for $3, I am going to take that with me and see what I can find out about it. $3 is a small price to pay to learn something new. 
back here are some Threshold Melamine plates. Threshold is a Target brand, not an especially well-selling pattern, that one, only about $4 a piece. So I'm going to leave those for somebody else. What's in here? These look like little candle saucers. They're not big enough to be coasters, I don't think. Yeah, I think those are candle holders. Pretty piece of glass under here. But as I pick it up, I know that it's not vintage or antique. It's very lightweight, mass produced. We'll leave that. This gorgeous antique plate is still here. It's Johnson Brothers. It's a dollar. I think this time I just have to rescue it. It does have some staining and crazing showing its age, but it is a gorgeous old piece. It's a little bell here, but that has been repaired. I can see it's a bit offset with some glue at the join zooming in so you can see what I'm talking about. Not a very good repair, unfortunately. These are some little cheese markers, $3. Those are quite fun. Bella Casa by Gans. Let's pop those into our cart for $3. This looks like a little candle saucer. Again, quite lightweight, probably a big lots piece. It's a salt candle. Be careful with salt candles because they're quite uh, dangerous for cats. Cats are attracted to them and they lick them and the salt can be quite uh, harmful. So do be careful if you have cats. There's a ceramic sculpture here. That's $10. What's this? Starfish or a sea star tea light holder. A little bear back here. $8. I think she is missing a tray or a picture frame. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. More dolls up top here. More candles. There's a massive pair there. What's this? This is glass. Not as heavy as I would think. It's a little dish for five dollars. A modern piece. Quite lightweight. This pair is heavier than I thought it was going to be. It's decorative. Another contemporary decorative piece. Crystal Cathedral Ministries. Praying Angel, that's really well sealed. I think I'm going to leave that for someone else. I thought this was ceramic, but it's actually a uh, plastic night light. It's a pumpkin, big lots or target piece. Let's see, it's a little nativity. Many of you ask me why I pick up and feel so many of the items and it's because you can learn so much when you pick up an item. For example this, when I pick this up it's a good weight for its size, it tells me it's good quality, it's nice and smooth to the touch, not rough. I love the subject matter of this. Peacocks sell really, really well for me. It does have intentional crazing, as you can see there. Uh, that is made to look old, but uh, I really like it. So I'm going to pick that piece up. We'll pop it into our cart. a little glass candle dish more candle holders here I always check the candle holders to see if they're signed looking for Orifors, Tiffany and Co both of those among others have their names etched in the bottom of the pieces more often than not here is a 
Vegas Golden Knights souvenir piece, Bruce Cassidy. This is $4. I do like to look these up on eBay because some of them are worth more than others. And uh, if you find the right one, they can fetch a good profit. Little green glass votive holder. This is a contemporary piece, probably Target. 69 cents. We'll leave that. Another pair of taper candle holders. These are glass, not crystal, quite lightweight. This, on the other hand, is super duper heavy crystal. Gorgeous geometric design, very heavy to ship. It wouldn't do so well in my booth, so I'll leave it. This is a Burwood vintage plastic rocking horse wall hanging. It is $4 and unfortunately only sells about 8 to 12 so we will leave that on the shelf. Let's make sure we're not missing anything back here. Oh, these are great. A little sign. My grandmother is an angel in disguise. Sandra Magnusman. We'll definitely take that. They do really, really well in my booth. Novelty red chili pepper swag. <laughs> I can honestly say I've never seen one of those before. What's this? Looks like a metal magnetic sign. Do small things with love. Unfortunately, it's very, very scratched up. It's, hmm, I would love to take that. But uh, the damage on it is such that... Uh, I don't think it would sell. Let's see, a little ashtray here. 99 cents, more glass, some vase fillers, dishes. It's a hurricane shade. Oh, what's this butterfly? looks like it's metal with it doesn't look like enamel it looks like a reproduction it is if that was an original enamel piece that would be a really good find but it's just an inexpensive tray this is a sweet little crystal cut frame oh i think this piece if I'm not very much mistaken, is Limoges. Let's see if we can peel the label and have a look. Yep. Can you see that? I don't know if it's focusing. That does say Limoges. There we go. In gold. Really good find that. Going straight in the cart really carefully. I love the gold. It's an absolutely perfect condition. Let's see if there are any more of those. This looks like a recycled glass bowl. Not uh, quality enough to be fire and light, so we'll leave that. It's another matching ashtray to the other one. More candles. That looks like it was one of those uh, uh, thermometers, floating thermometer. Some coasters. Little uh, candle holders for a sconce. More decorative pieces. This little crew, it's still here, still $5, still missing the stopper. Oh, look at this quail. This is a vintage piece, $3. It's an Arnell's. This is a paint your own project piece done in gold with shading. Just lovely. This is a Teleflora piece, some of which can be quite collectible. So do check those when you find them. Little glass candelabra up here. Don't think this is a vintage. It's quite lightweight. Not ever such good quality. Made to look like a heisey though.
we'll keep going in this aisle baskets on top there lots more candle holders some tins more plaques and signs this is a pretty tri-divided dish it's vintage if it was any other color than clear i would definitely pick it up little vase some napco ware there little boy national potteries company sadly very chipped we'll leave him let's see what's this this looks like an unfinished tile but the little girl doesn't have a face that's a bit disturbing i think i'm going to leave that just because it's creepy <laughs> lots and lots of glass bowls today this is a modern piece not heavy enough to be vintage the feel isn't right I do quite like that one, but again, clear glass doesn't sell for me. I have so much of it in inventory. Uh, I'm going to leave that. Lots of stacks of souvenir plates here. I'm going to have a little look through these just to see. They seem to be souvenirs of somebody's travels. South Carolina. What's this one? Victorian Christmas. Koalas. This one's quite colorful. Sorrento, Italy. Painted by hand. Unfortunately, souvenir pieces don't sell too well for me, so I'm going to leave that one. Here is the seasonal shelf. Some fall and Halloween bits here. A bit of Easter. Valentine's Day, flowery clock there. Ornaments, some bottle brush trees. Wreaths, little jar topper. So I'm taking a little minute to do a bit of research on the items that are in my cart. Sadly, the doll and the Vegas Knights Bruce Cassidy souvenir piece are just not worth picking up for resale. Now together, we're going to do the Yankee Candle shade. We're going to go to a browser on the search bar, push the little camera. It will bring up your camera screen if you push the button. It will give you a frame, center the frame, take a picture of your item, and it will bring up for you some visual matches. As you can see, we've got one at 25, one at 15, another one at 20 here. Let's take a look at this one. Large shade, $20 and $11.99 shipping. As you can see, Bruce Cassidy was only a $10 piece. Let's now do our Crackle Glass Yankee Candle Shade the same way. Bringing up our visual matches here. Oh, this one is a $30 one. Okay, and the others look like they are different brands here. Not uh, Yankee Candle. Here we are in the vases, florals, and planters, having a look. Lots of clear as usual, little lead crystal, hurricane shade. 
be very careful with lead crystal. Um, I never use it for food use at all. Um, just in case the lead happens to leach out, we wouldn't want that. So uh, my advice, purely decorative on the lead crystal pieces. Don't even use it for serving fruit or nuts or anything like that. Just not worth the risk. Decanter, no stopper. All sorts of florist vases. Let's see. This piece looks like a very decorative home goods. It came from Ross. Same with that. Has the style of pottery, but it is mass produced, as is this one. Quite lightweight, finished bottom. Ooh, look at this. This is a beautiful piece, highly polished, quite possibly recycled glass. It doesn't have a sticker on it. It's an absolutely gorgeous sapphire color. Look at that in the light. Slightly irregular that gives it some lovely character. It's only $4, so let's definitely take that with us. I think I'm going to have to make a spot in the cart. We're getting a bit full. Oh, there we go. Just ease it in right there. Perfect. <laughs> let's keep going on the shelf. Where were we? I think we finished that one. This looks like metal, but it's actually painted. That's very interesting. A decorative piece again. Oh, look at these glasses. These are Maker's Mark whiskey glasses. They're only 69 cents. Let's definitely grab these and pop them in the cart. They have the look of the wax uh, that appears on top of uh, their bottles. We'll do a quick search on these like we did before. Let's see, Maker's Mark, $33 on this one, on Poshmark. Let's bring up the listing. Some nice pictures there. The reception isn't too terribly good inside. I'm way at the back of the building. I think these are a good find, so let's grab them. It looks like we're going to need to do a little rearranging of the cart. <laughs> Sadly, during rearranging, I noticed that each and every one of these tumblers has a split in the wax at the base here. So unfortunately, they are all going to have to go back onto the shelf. Uh, maybe because they went through the dishwasher, maybe just our dry Vegas air. Let's keep going. I have spotted a beautiful vintage vase here. This is a Libby piece, cobalt blue, nice tall vase, only 99 cents, 50 cents on sale. Blue is half off today, so that is very exciting. It's a little elephant planter here. I have several of these in my inventory, so I'm going to leave that one for somebody else. Let's see, this is a pretty glass vase. Very different to the weight of the Libby, super light, not excellent quality. Probably a made in China piece, that one. Lots of florals, baskets and arrangements. Some wreaths as well. Yankee candle, Bayberry candles, $2. If you are going to buy candles at a thrift store, do make sure you take a look at them. Sometimes they're melted out of shape. Other times 
like these are, they are cracked and broken. And Here's a bowl. It looks to be hand painted. Lily pads and a hummingbird. It's $6. I'm not crazy about the black lily, so I am going to leave that on the shelf. Here are some fabric orchids. Those are table toppers. We are moving into the silver tone metals. I always take my time in the metals. The items tend to blend together, so it's really easy to miss something. I'm looking for picture holders. Here's a nice wooden shelf, handmade. Look at this hiding in here. Not metal. <laughs> it's a carved wooden spoon. $2. It has a lion on it. Really brutalist style. I really love this. The carving is very intricate, so we will absolutely take that for $2. As I said, I'm looking for plate stands, picture stands, the little clips that hold together the vintage anchor hocking chip and dip bowls, metal nambe bowls, N-A-M-B-E. -E. That's a brand that sells really, really well for me. Lots of baskets up top here. Here is a really big piece of wall decor. Hammered leaves. They have little gold accents around. It's not the quality I was hoping for. It seems to be either a Hobby Lobby or a Michael's piece. Uh, it's quite pretty, but yeah, the quality just isn't there. It's quite lightweight, so I am going to leave that on the shelf. Moving into the gold tone metals now. Let's see. There's some wood pieces here too. Nice vintage silver plated bonbon dish. It's about an eight to ten dollar piece. This vase is still here. It looks like a bitosi, but isn't. Let's see if these are marked by any chance. They're very lightweight. I think they are most likely a metal blend. They don't even look like silver plate. More wall decor, signs, little baskets and racks. Here is a large bowl. This is metal, not as heavy as it looks. Wow, not for food juice, $60. That will stay on the shelf as well. Some sconces. I'm going to pop this vase that was on the floor up high so no one trips over it. There we go. We'll keep going. It's a very large wood fish here. He's quite nice, but unfortunately um, his tail does have some damage there. So sadly, we will have to leave him. Quite a big tree here. This is also wall art, cut metal. Again, just not the quality I'm looking for. It's not vintage, so that will stay as well. Some big heavy candle holders. This is wrought iron is a modern piece though. Not seeing anything I have to have in the metal today. It's a little modern iron spoon rest made in China. I'm not 
quite sure what that is. Possibly a wall basin. This is a little silicon Minnie Mouse baby dish, baby bowl. What else can we find? Oh, this is interesting. Holiday Hutch Carmel Rocking Horse Ornament. This is on sale, $2.50. Let's do it sight unseen. We will unbox it together during my haul at the end of the video. Oh, look at this. This actually matches the plate I picked up. It is $3. It has the same color, the same uh, pattern on it. Similar geometric lines. That's exciting. That is, I'm not sure what that is. All sorts of miscellaneous bits here at the end of the metal section. Here we are in the mug section and I have spotted something up top here. It looks to be a vintage rolling pin. It has red handles and it is marked. Let me see if I can focus this for you. J.K. Adams Vermont. I love the rolling pins that are marked. It just gives them such character. They look great in a display. This one has a hole in the top of the handle so you can hang it on the wall. Really great. Always pick up vintage rolling pins if they have character, if they're marked, and especially if they make a pattern. Look at this. The good stuff. This is Danny's store. The niche lady's store is the good stuff where I have my vintage booth. That's a definite yes. <laughs> we will surprise her with that mug. She's going to love it. Let's see if there are any more or if anything else jumps out at me. Let's see. The blue glass mason jars you see there, a pioneer woman. Sadly, they don't fetch much without the straws. So we will leave those. But if you find those in new condition with the straw or in the box, they are definitely a good bolo, a good be on the lookout for. Pioneer Woman uh, Blue Atlas Jar mugs with straws as well as her rolling pins. Those go for crazy profit. We are making our way through the mugs here. This is the last shelf before we get into the glass and the tumblers. Oh, look at this. This is a pottery mug, possibly hand, yes, definitely handcrafted. But unfortunately, it's really, really crazed and flaking. It looks like somebody has put it in the microwave and uh, that's a big no-no on pottery. They still want $3 for it. There's the signature. I'm so sad because that is a gorgeous piece. I love the trees and the mountains. Absolutely lovely, such a shame. Let's move on. That's the last of the mugs there. And we will have a stroll through all the different glasses. Those are flash painted. You see how the flash is peeling off there? The color's coming right off. The color isn't in the glass itself. It's flash painted on top. And that tends to wear very, very easily, especially if you put them in the dishwasher. Please don't put your mugs or nice glassware in the dishwasher. It's really, really hard on it and they won't last very long. 
some shot glasses up top there. That's a pretty color. Not very good quality. I can tell as soon as I pick it up. Very lightweight for its size. There are some quite nice blue glasses. These look a bit like those Harlequin novel pink glasses, $2. I'm not sure if those are they though. If, if anybody knows what the Harlequin um, pink glasses look like, the ones that were given away with uh, book purchases, if you could send me an image, that would be fantastic. These are possibly recycled glass. They're two ninety nine each, and unfortunately, they all have a lot of mineral deposit. They could be a nice profit, but it's hard to know whether that mineral deposit will come all the way off. And honestly, I don't need another project to do. So if you're in Vegas and you want a project, uh, Often mineral deposits come off nicely with white vinegar or denture cleaning tablets and a nice baby bristle bottle brush. So they are here. Here's another Maker's Mark glass. Again, the wax decor is cracked on there. Such a shame. These are really fun pieces. 69 cents. Let's keep going. That is a pretty glass, very cracked handle. All sorts of sets. As I always say, if you need a new set of glasses, check your local Goodwill. There's some absolutely beautiful sets here. This is a lovely glass. Sadly, the base is chipped there and they're still asking $1.99. I'm thinking somebody probably picked up the rest of a set and left that one because it was chipped. See another lovely set there. All sorts more pink ones. Lots of alcohol advertising pieces, the kind that come in sets. Oh look, a Mille Fiore. This is not a good quality one. You can see that the Mille Fiore are applied over the top, not very well either. This is a inexpensive part of a set, I'm sure. Here we are in the kitcheny bits and I have spotted a sweet little candle holder with seashells on it. At the back there are mason jar, mugs with straws. That's what the pioneer woman ones will look like if they have their straws. The candle holder is only 35 cents so we will grab that. It's on blue sticker half off sale. Fantastic. Oh look at this. It's a glass Oreo mug. How fun. It's $2.99. It looks to be in great shape. Let's grab that. My hands are full, but here are some salt and pepper shakers, $4. I think they're dolphins. Back here is a little heart trinket dish. Not ever such good quality that, but up here is a Mikasa one with flowers, frosted flowers, only $2. I like this one a lot. So let's grab that. Here are the dolphins. They're from the Bahamas. A little bit chipped and $4 is a bit much for resale, so we'll have to leave those. What else can we find? Stack of Corel saucers, a nice blue uh, pie dish back there. Cobalt is very, very trendy at the moment. However, not many people want to make their own pies, so those are a bit of a long haul item. They will sit in my store for a while. Let's see. Decanters and carafes. Bowls. 
again that is a super modern piece very lightweight not good quality oil and vinegar little fruit pitcher lots of bakeware I'm always looking out for Le Creuset bakeware and serveware. It is timeless, excellent quality. It last and last and last. I love my enameled iron Le Creuset pans. They are fantastic for cooking. Oh, look at this. I think this is Anchor Hocking. It's a frosted pitcher. Absolutely lovely. Really, really heavy. That would be beautiful with the, some lemonade in it. It does not glow, but it would look just like custard glass if you had some lemonade in it, wouldn't it? That's lovely. Let's definitely grab that. It's a bit manky, needs a good wash, but I think it will clean up perfectly. I am going to just do a quick Google Lens for you to see if we can find out how much it is worth. $20, oh, $12, $14.25. No matter, I absolutely love this. So if it doesn't sell in my booth, I will not be too terribly disappointed at having to keep it. I think it will be gorgeous for summer outside. Let's keep going on the shelf here. Oh, look at this lovely tray. This is melamine, gorgeous summery design, watermelon and a cobalt blue vase with some flowers. It is $5. Unfortunately, it's extremely crazed. It's in rough shape, ever so cracked. That is really a shame. I've not seen this design before. So just for my own education, I'm going to pop it in the cart, look it up on eBay to see how much it is worth. What else can we find in the kitcheny bits? This is a vintage Japanese teapot, only about a 10 to $15 piece, that one. We will leave it. That is very modern. Oops as is that that is not fiesta wear and these are not depression pink glasses they're modern reproductions i love this copper salt and pepper set however they have big dings in the top big dents Ooh, more pictures these are modern very lightweight this one is nice this is a crystal one i believe ten dollars on that and the one next to it again pictures for me need to be an exciting color or frosted similar to the one we just found the clear ones just unfortunately don't sell here is another rolling pin this one, does that say Foley? I think it might. Foley is a really good brand of rolling pin. Definitely pick up Foley's if they're at the right price. I didn't show you it because I spotted another tray. This one is not as nice quality and unfortunately it is chipped. So we will leave that where it was. Just having a scour of the shelves to make sure I don't miss anything. As you probably know, it's quite overwhelming when the shelves are full like these are. It's very easy to focus on one thing and miss something great that might be right next to it. This section is the 
little oh here's another of those star wars uh characters that we picked up at the other goodwill that one was a mug though the one we picked up little odds and ends flatware silverware salt and peppers those placemats are still there there's also some hello fall ones those are not vintage I'm taking a second look around the shelves as I love to do. Look at this gorgeous wooden pineapple bowl. It's $2 and I have a similar one in my vintage booth. When you're putting together a set of these, don't feel like they need to match exactly. It's fun to be able to mix and match with what you find. Look at these fish. They're little resin wall hangings. Absolutely gorgeous colors for Easter and spring. It looks like there are four of the little ones and then two bigger pink ceramic ones. They have a bit of a blue sky clay works look to them, don't they? But I think they might be project pieces. Two ninety nine a piece. And look at this butterfly. This is amazing. I had to come back for the little Napco piece, the boy with his dog. And even though the flowers are chipped a bit at the bottom, I just couldn't leave it behind. National Potteries Corporation from the 1940s. He's absolutely gorgeous. Let's take our usual stroll through the artwork. First, we have the small pieces and frames. This is a fun one. <laughs> it's got a couple of birds on there. All sorts of shapes and sizes. Let's see. Oh, look at this girl just laying on the table. This is a little Greek souvenir piece, I believe. She looks quite vintage, $3. Absolutely, she will go into our cart. Let's make our way into the large art over here and have a look. I'm looking for vintage frames. This is a pretty piece. It's a bird, quite large, Audubon style piece. Many times people would uh, take apart Audubon bird books and frame the individual pages. We're going to take a flip through this row. Because if this is what I think it is, it could be worth upwards of a couple of hundred dollars. It is a vintage Japanese woodblock print, quails and flowers. And here are two florals as well. This one is roses. It's beautifully framed. And another blue and white flowers in a vase. Let's take these as well. If you would like to purchase an item you see in my haul, please email me at thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your address, the item, and the price I mention. If it's available, I will send you an emailed invoice. Here on my counter is everything I found at Goodwill. Ziggy is here inspecting the hall as usual. What do you think, Ziggy? <laughs> he says, I think I'm going to take another look. I didn't realize I had bought this much. <laughs> I haven't had a haul this big in quite some time so let's jump right in this first piece 
is a lovely little hanging sign. My grandmother is an angel in disguise. Absolutely, I couldn't agree more. This is a Sandra Maximin piece, Department 56. I paid $2 for it. It is porcelain with um, a wire and bead hanging. <laughs> this is funny. I'm soaking the label of this dish so that I can show you the flowers. It's got water in it. I washed it and it's got water in it now. And Ziggy has decided that uh, it's good drinking. You're silly. <laughs> so this I paid $2 for, absolutely lovely little wall plaque. And I shall ask $20. Next we have this quite unique little candle holder. It's little scallop shells all the way around. It's a bit of an off uh, yellowy, whitey, not clear glass. And I had a feeling it might glow under black light, but it doesn't. I think it's just quite vintage. It was on sale. I paid 35 cents for this and I shall ask $12. Next we have our lovely party light star. There's the party light symbol there. I paid 69 cents for this piece and I shall ask $15. Next, we have this absolutely gorgeous butterfly wall hanging. The artist is Mimi, is it Job, Joby or Hobie? Unfortunately, it does have a few of the gems missing. One here, here, and here. I'm sure they could re be replaced. They're just a sort of a lavender gem that you could glue on. There's no other damage to the piece. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you the back. It's ceramic. Enchanted Journey, it's a Bradford Exchange piece with a hanger. These are quite sought after online. I paid $3 for it and given the missing jewels, I shall ask $20. Next, we have our fantastic Limoges little planter or trinket with the gold leaf. It's just gorgeous. You can see the Limoges mark sticking out there. Absolutely love it. It's in wonderful condition, double-sided. And I am going to ask $25 on this piece. Next, we have our beautiful Yankee candle set. I misspoke in the video and called them party light, but they are in fact, all for Yankee Candle. There's two little candle shades. You pop this in the top of a candle jar and it uh, illuminates beautifully, especially with, the, especially with the crackle glass there. There's a green one and a red one and the two votive holders that match this one. I looked and looked for votives to match the red one. I am hoping they will surface sometime in the future. I am going to ask 25 on the um, candle shades and uh, 25 for the pair of the crackle glass votives. In doing some research on this vase, uh, the prices were all over the place. It, it was called the Shibata Vintage. Um, I don't believe this is vintage. To me, the crackle looks very created. I think at oldest, this is 1980s, which does make it vintage, but not that old. It is beautiful though, beautifully done with the peacocks. I paid $4 for it and uh, I shall ask $25.
Next, we have our beautiful cobalt blue pieces. I think they are both Libby, if I'm not mistaken, made in the US. This one has a gorgeous optic, optic swirl that goes around. And this one has a lovely thick cobalt at the bottom. Is quite dirty, manky. There's the original Libby sticker made in USA. I paid 99 cents on the Bud Vars and $2 on the larger piece. And I am going to ask $15 a piece on those. Back behind them are anchor hocking, beautiful frosted pitcher. It's really, really heavy. Um, I don't know that I would want to ship this piece. Just gorgeous. I paid $5 on that. I would ship it if, if somebody really wanted it. Um, I wouldn't be too terribly disappointed at having to keep it. Uh, I would list it at $25. Now this is an interesting piece that I could not find online. It is a wooden spoon with very intricate carvings. The carving here is a lion and at the top is a fish. Absolutely gorgeous. I paid $1.99 for it. It doesn't appear to be marked at all. And uh, without knowing anything about it, I would probably ask $25 on this. If anyone can help me out with uh, origin or artist, I would really appreciate your help. Same, same with these pieces here. I have this plate with almost an optic floral design. Reminds me of that Spirograph uh, art creator set. Did anyone have that in the 70s? Spirograph, where we, you would take the little plastic uh, pieces and draw with them, pin them to a board and draw with them. There's the mark on the bottom. Doesn't look too terribly vintage to me, but they are gorgeous. This one was $3, that's the plate, the platter. It is quite weighty. And this is a little planter with a similar pattern. I would venture to say it's the same maker. Really pretty. This one was $3. And I would probably ask $25 a piece on those without knowing anything about them. Here we have our lovely reindeer stocking holders. They are wood and metal. Very, very uh, country looking, cottagey. I love the combination of the metal and the wood. One is missing its felt bottom, as I showed you in the store, um, but that could be easily replaced. I paid $6 a piece on these, and I am going to ask $20 a piece. Back here, is a gorgeous what i believe to be recycled glass vase just a beautiful piece so glossy and well made it is slightly uneven which is why i believe it is recycled and you can see can you see the strata of the glass in there i paid four dollars for it and i am going to ask 45 dollars this is a lovely Greek little lady. She was just laying on the table at the last minute opposite the art section. She looks like a Greek souvenir piece. And the funnest part to me, she's got a little, a little, um, <laughs> I don't know what you'd call it, a little um, belt covering her bikinis. She's really, really sweet. I love her sequins. I love the color of the dress. She's so detailed. The dress is starched and there are just sequined ribbons all the way around. I paid 
I didn't. I paid a dollar fifty for her. She was on blue tag sale, and I'm going to ask twenty dollars. Next to her, we have our lovely Napco fellow with his pup. Usually the fingers are damaged on these, but in this case, uh, it's the flowers. The flowers at the bottom are a little chipped, missing a few petals, but that could easily be touched up with some paint. To me, he's so gorgeous, just classy. There's the bottom. Instead of Napco, it says National Potteries Company. Original sticker there, which is everything to me. I paid, I believe I paid six dollars for him, and I shall ask 25. In front of him, we have our lovely vintage rolling pins. I love these. This one is great because it has a hook, a little hole for a hook for the wall. It is this one. J.K. Adams, Vermont, super, super. And this one is a Foley, quite collectible. I paid $3.99 and $4.99 respectively for them. And uh, I am going to ask $18 a piece. Next to Ziggy here, we have our pineapple, a little pineapple bowl. It is a lovely one. I believe it is, it is made in the Philippines here. I paid $2 and I will ask $15 on that. I saw this last time and I regretted not picking it up. This is a very, very old English piece. It's antique. It is... Johnson Brothers of England. It's super duper crazed. Somebody bought it at Deseret Industries for a dollar and it ended up at Goodwill for a dollar where I found it. Didn't pass it up this time. It's got some blackberries and little wildflowers around the edge. The crazing and staining is absolutely amazing. It would look incredible on somebody's wall in a collection. You could mix and match old plates and I am going to ask $20. Up here we have our array of fish and I had no idea that these were Miller fish. Um, anthropomorphic, really sought after and they sell for upwards of $25 to $30 a piece. As do these, these are very collectible at the moment, little resin fish. This fellow has some little glittery nail polish on his cheek. That will probably come off um, if you did not want it there. But yes, these valued at $25 a piece. Let's see if our, our label has come off this piece so that I can show you it. Not these Goodwill stickers are incredibly sticky these days. They're doing a good job. Um, I've been told that they were having issues with folks peeling stickers and repricing things. There we go. Absolutely lovely. The flowers are frosted, uh, they're indented on the bottom and frosted. Beautiful little trinket dish. As you saw, I paid $2 for it and uh, I am going to ask $12. Let's come back to our mystery box. Glass rocking horse ornament mystery box. I haven't been into it. Holiday Hutch of Carmel. Let's do our little quail, our Arnell's quail. $3.00 on this guy. Somebody did a fantastic job painting and shading in gold and brown. Unfortunately, they didn't sign it, which is a shame. I always love to see signatures in years. Um, I value this guy 18 to $20. Isn't this Oreo mug fantastic? Perfect for a cup of milk and a 
sleeve of Oreos. It was $3 and I am going to ask $18. This is another little mystery item. I think it's paperweight, uh, a beautiful um, wildflower, frosted glass, clear in the center to accentuate the petals going down into the base of the flower there. It doesn't look like it, it was possibly attached to something. If somebody recognizes this as a piece of something else, do let me know. But it is gorgeous on its own as a paperweight. 69 cents I paid for it and I shall ask 25. Now last but not least, let's get into our rocking horse ornament. I am going to, let's see if I can do this on camera. Take some scissors. Ziggy, I wish you could help me with this. Just need you to put your paw on it. There we are, it's working. All right, let's see. This was uh, $2.50. Let's see what it has inside. Oh. <sighs> Look at this, it's glass, glass with gold and maybe little ceramic beads. So it's a rocking horse ornament with a hanger. How beautiful is that? I'm not sure who makes it, but it is lovely. It appears to be in excellent condition, no broken pieces. That's fantastic. $2.50 on this and I shall ask. I don't know what I shall ask. <laughs> I haven't done any research. Let's ask $18 on this. If you see anything you are interested in in the haul, please do send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. <laughs> I will take the highest offer I receive on an item. So if you really want something, do let me know your highest bid. Please stay tuned. I have some fun footage of Bear and Rio at the park running um, some dusty hills. It's uh, almost more of a hike than a run in the park, but they absolutely love it. They roll in the dusk, they chase each other, they go on the mountain bike ramps. It's super duper fun. I also have some new footage of our hummingbirds with our peach tree in full bloom. Oh, I almost forgot the star of the show. I believe this to be a woodblock print a vintage japanese piece it is absolutely gorgeous quail and flowers i'm still researching but i do believe it could be worth anywhere between 100 and 350 dollars as always thank you so much for watching please do bookmark my whatnot shows i have them every sunday at 2 p.m pacific time I'll put a link at the bottom here. If you're not signed up on Whatnot, please do use my link to sign up. Whatnot will give you $15 to spend. And I will see you next time. Bye. I am on my way to Goodwill, stopping in at the Good Stuff Thrift Store. It's at 1401 North Decatur. 
and uh, I have to pop in to grab a couple of items that uh, sold from the tour on my video yesterday. Here's Matt. Hi Matt. Hello. Here is my booth. Now let's run in and find the items we need. The first thing is a set of teak coasters which are right here. Beautiful set of vintage teak coasters. And the other thing is this amazing vase. I call it the Andes Mint Vase because of the beautiful colors. It's made in Portugal, absolutely gorgeous. Now let's set those aside and make the booth pretty again. Put this here, pop this there. Let's find something we can fill that gap with. Ooh, how about this? This is a beautiful piece, deserves to be front and center. So let's pop that there. And then we'll make sure this looks all right. Our onyx tissue box. No, I'll put that there. If you have a booth, make sure you're rotating items and uh, switching things around, making sure every little space in your booth looks nice. All right, let's grab our items here. We got our coasters and our vase. And we'll be on our way to Goodwill. Leo, good girl. What you doing, Bear? cold and windy today folks but we are over here at Floyd Lamb Park it's a massive park here in the central north of Vegas great for mountain biking over there is a big lake with ducks and geese and peacocks and we run the dogs every morning over here. They absolutely love it. They're, they're waiting for me. Good boy, hi. Hi. Oh. So they've built a whole bike park here for mountain bikers. There's all rock trails up here. And over here is a big ramp. Chris is about to run the ramp with the dogs. Let's see. There he goes. <laughs> Let's get up to it. There. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Good boy. Oh.
see this stick there? Is it stick? We have found a rock. Rio's adult teeth have just started to come in. So she's chewing on everything she can chew on. Hey! Good boy, good girl. Let's go. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. oh, you're so clever. You're so clever. <laughs> we got some zoomies going on. Zoomies in the dust. Get him, Rio. There. Come on. Come on. <laughs> good boy, good girl. Let's go. Zoomy dirt and the dust. Oh. How dusty you are, Rio. <laughs> Look at the dusty dog, Mimi. Me. <laughs> you look like an Australian Shepherd. Yes, you do. Very. Oh, the. <laughs> there's Dusty too. Goodness. Did you get rolled, Rio? Did you get rolled? <laughs> Got a stick there. Where are you sleeping under the blanket? Cutie pie. Hello. Are you so tired, Ray? Oh, she got tired, Sheppy is. Tired, Sheppy is? Poor Rio. Very tired, baby. You're very tired, baby. Oh. 
Corey. <laughs> Bear is tired too. Bear is up here on the couch. Hello, mister. Are you tired too? Are you tired too? Is it time to go to bed? You wanna go upstairs in your crate? Mm-hmm. <laughs>